Hey y'all. All right, here I am again. Today I'm back with a makeup tutorial. That is what the tutorial is going to be about today. It's that um, ombre pastel uh, Helix eyeliner. I've actually been seeing that all over Instagram. Instagram? <laughs> I've actually been seeing that all over Instagram lately. Also, I saw Mikey from Glam and Gore um, doing this on her channel. She was doing that rainbow helix eyeliner and it looked so pretty and I felt so inspired by all those Instagram looks and uh, by Mikey that I wanted to do my own version of this liner and this is the pastel ombre helix. Liner. Yeah, um, if you want to know how I got this ombre pastel um, helix eyeliner, then you just shouldn't click away because I'm about to show you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was dangerous. Okay, so I've put on some brown eyeshadow, so my lid's not that naked. <laughs> what you want to do is you basically want to draw on a long as winged liner. <laughs> the thing is, if it's longer, then you will have more space to draw on the helix. You don't have to do it though if you don't like the look of a long eyeliner or a thick eyeliner. Just do whatever you want. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we can just go ahead and jump right into the helix. So this color is called Scorpio and it's going to go into my waterline. So I just have this little pointy brush by Real Techniques. I think you'll even need a smaller brush than this. Oh, than this. <laughs> Um, like maybe like a tiny nail art brush or something because you really need the smallest brush you can find for this but I could only find this one so <laughs> I know that Jeffree Star's um, liquid lipsticks are eye safe that's why I'm using them my eye will probably turn red anyway because it's sensitive as hell okay so I've put it in the waterline and a little bit on the lower lash line as well because we are going to smudge that out later. What you want to do is taking a little bit of Scorpio on your brush again and then you basically want to draw a big squiggle on this wing. We are going to connect it with the bottom lash line and then it's going to go up and we're going to draw a S shape first. Okay, so you just drew that upwards and then you want to make a little curve and take a little bit more product. This looks a bit messy but we can clean that up with some eyeliner later. We just want to get the basic lines on. Now you want to switch over to this liquid lipstick. It's still by Jeffree Star and it's called Virginity. And then you want to connect it with the other one. And you're going up again and down. Last but not least, I'm taking this color by Jeffree Star. It's called Nude Beach. This is going to be our last color. And now we want to do the last squiggle. Whoops! So if you like mess up and do this line way too thick as I did, don't worry, we can still clean it up later. Now we're at the end and you can do like whatever you like. You could just wing it out, you could just stop there, but I'm just gonna do like a little... Okay, so now comes the most important part where it all comes together. This is where you like draw over the squiggle or like some lines of the squiggle so it actually looks like a helix and not a squig and not like a squiggle anymore. So first line is gonna stay there and the second one is going to get drawn over. 
So it looks like the squiggle is actually behind the eyeliner. And next one is staying and the one after the next one is going to be covered. And then you can just like extend it a little bit after that one. That is how you get the helix effect. Now we're just gonna go in with some of the colors we used before to intensify them. And I'm just going to clean it up a little bit more. As I said at the beginning, we are going to smoke out the lower lash line now using... Oops. <laughs> using this color out of the Morphe 12P palette. Okay, so all you want to do now is pop on some lashes and then you're done! Okay, so I just added some lipstick. This is basically exactly what I have on my eyes. So there is Scorpio on my lips and then I put some virginity in the middle and then I put some nude beach even more on the center. I don't so I basically just put all the colors which I used for the helix on my lips as a ombre lip. So if you want to just give me a big thumbs up and even if you don't want to, just do it. And you can subscribe to my channel. Well, you, you have to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe. All right, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, oh my gosh. It's so hard on this side. <laughs> I'm just like, what am I doing? I'm gonna go in with this dark brown. Ooh. <gasps>